Let's come back to Nigeria, where Oscar Oyema, the group CEO of the Nigerian Exchange Group, PLC, led a few other top officials of the company in a virtual investors call today to provide facts behind the figures of the organization's full year 2022 earnings that was released last week. Let's take some excerpts from the group CEO Onyema and the CEO of the Nigerian Exchange Limited, Temi Kukwola. On subsidiary, we're registered as a capital market uh, holding company uh, with three wholly owned subsidiaries, two associate companies, and about five investee companies. Uh, let me start with our uh, wholly owned subsidiaries, um, NGX. Uh, exchange, uh, which derives revenue streams from transaction fees, listing fees, licensing fees, and others. Uh, NGX regulation, uh, which derives uh, revenue streams from regulatory services fees and regulatory consulting fees. Uh, the NGX real estate, which derives revenue streams from rental income, service charges, securities in security income uh etc and there were two associate uh uh firms the first one being the central securities depository cscs where we own about 44 uh 0.2 uh, percent uh derives revenue streams from market related fees non-market related fees such as our document digitization uh, program and uh, substantial revenues from treasury uh, management fees. The central counterparty clearing house, NG uh, Clearing, is designed to derive fees from transaction and clearing fees. These fees translate into revenue streams for the non operating holding company in the form of dividends and improved valuation. Uh, currently, the NGX exchange and uh, NGS real es uh, estate company uh, have not uh, paid dividends, but they are designed uh, to be dividend paying. The associates, uh, CSCS continues to have robust uh, dividend flows to us. Uh, NG clearing is still uh, working on uh, expanding and getting derivatives off and running. Uh, as you know, they rolled out uh, a couple of uh, derivatives in conjunction with NGX Exchange uh, last year. Is the activity around listings. In 2022, just like the group CFO has just said, we had some very strong listings. And I think one of the good things from this was that these listings also in turn drove a lot of the positive uh, trading performance that we saw for 2022. Uh, some of the key listings are displayed here on the equity side. First and foremost, we had the Boa Foods listing in 2022, very early on in the year. And then much later in the year on the equity side as well, we had the Gary Gu uh, listing. Uh, at the end of the year, what we saw was the market capitalization for our equity asset class grow by 25% to just shy of 28 trillion Naira. And that's your Arise Exchange tonight. This Thursday. Thank you for watching. I am Bussin Namofai. Have a great evening. And it's goodbye from here. <laughs>